as, as a, um, a, a, a really just sort of a, a, um, uh, a, a general paranoia, I think, of, of anyone who could be considered a threat. Um, and, and this had really bled down from the highest ranks of the government um, that whether it was the, the person, whether it's the person getting on the plane, whether it's the protester at the corner, um, whether it's the, uh, the, the, the person at the college campus, if there's any sign that someone could be considered a threat, they have to be treated as a threat. The 1% doctrine, Ron Suskind called it, um, in attributing it to, to Dick Cheney. I think this was an attitude that really bled down even to the local cops who were part of the Joint Terrorism Task Forces that work with the FBI. Um, before, someone might have gotten you know, might have gotten an odd look from a police from a police officer and, and thought nothing of it. Now they'll be entered into a database, um, and in the case of the military database, they collected uh, upwards of 280 files on peaceful anti-war groups. Uh, and, and these were files on, on groups that had done nothing more than protest against the war. You also write about how the tensions increased over your piece in June 2003 when you wrote a story raising questions about the role of Mike Chertoff, who is now the Homeland Security. Security Secretary playing in the decision not to give John Walker Lynn access to a lawyer in Afghanistan. Right, right. That that was uh, sort of the beginning of the end of my, my troubles with, with the Justice Department. Um, I, I wrote a story about uh, an internal whistleblower, I would call her, at the Justice Department, Justice Department um, uh, Jocelyn Radick, who, uh, who had raised concerns about whether or not uh, Lynn's due process rights had, had been violated. Um, and uh, Chertoff, who was at the Justice Department as the head of the criminal division, um, was directly involved in this, um, in, uh, in, in having to testify before Congress about what went on in this case. Um, Radek had raised concerns about whether or not Lynn should be entitled to a lawyer, whether or not his family in San Francisco um, had gotten him a lawyer, whether or not he be, could be questioned in Afghanistan without a lawyer present. And of course, he made some very incriminating statements um, for in days in captivity without a lawyer present. You know, who was right and who was wrong is 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 a matter of some debate. But uh, you know, Radek raised some serious issues and um, was essentially. Uh, persona non grata at the Justice Department for a long time because Eric, of it. we have 10 seconds. What have you been most shocked by and what you've learned since you s first broke the NSA wiretapping story? Uh, I, I, I guess kind of the, the, um, uh, the, the punishment of those who dissent. I mean, as a segue from, from, uh, from Jessalyn, Ra Jessalyn Radek and others, the, uh, uh, the, the, f the fact that people who dare to question some of these policies are often penalized for it. Eric Lishglow, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much. His book is Bush's Law. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.